I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Welcome back to Writing on the Wall. This month's topic, sources of evil. I believe there's evil in the world. You must see it. You have to believe that too. Not everybody's redeemable. There are different kinds of evil. Hitler, Bernie Madoff, Joseph Epstein, Harvey Weinstein. I'd put Andrew Cuomo in there, Matt Lauer. I could go on and on. Evil. Despotism, financial abyss, sexual abuse, I mean, how do these people get away with it for so long? What enables that to occur for so long? Because you always hear people new. And then they come out of the woodwork and began, begin to testify. And they begin to get in trouble because they did know. There are thousands of enablers, that's why. Some are active, entertainment managers. Some are passive, investment people who sat back and wondered, but they should have stopped wondering and investigated more. Uh, Edmund Burke said, all that you need for evil to triumph is for good men to sit back and do nothing. And that's what we've seen. So does that still make them good men? And excuse me, good people in these times, of course. We allow small transgressions to grow and to get to be big transgressions. And we allow small transgre uh, transgressions to grow if there's some benefit to us. I mean, old time ward politics. You get a job, you give a kickback to the mayor. Somebody else gets a job, they give a kickback. It's the way the system operates and you rationalize it that way. When the mayor goes to jail for racketeering, I said, well, I didn't know. You see people marched off to boxcars, which go down the track and they never return, and you say, well, they're being relocated. You ignore the rumors. You ignore it when your neighbors are taken away. No, well, it's not me. How many people knew about Bill Cosby? Now, he's out on a technicality right now, probably out for the rest of whatever his life is. How many people knew about it? How many people excused it because he was this father figure? Everybody loved Bill Cosby. He's a funny guy. But how many people excused what was going on who knew about it? You know, Joe Biden has done some inappropriate things. And I think people are wondering, well, is this really? But now it's just the way he is. But they're not really sure. We don't really investigate all that, all that tough, all that thoroughly. I think what's going to happen right now this is the beginning of September in 2021, you're going to hear something about Prince Andrew. Now, it's already a, a woman or two claiming that they were raped by him, and he was a pal of Epstein. Did no one say anything because he was in the royal family? I don't think that's protection anymore. But we rationalize. We look at lesser evils. We think that celebrity and power have some kind of of secret passage, some kind of advantage. Do we really want to go after them? They give us so much comfort. We can expect uh, more control of these kinds of horrible issues if we exert more control ourselves. I used to teach an ethics course for General Electric. And in this program, I gave an example about people who worked for a boss who cheated on his expense report. And I said, you had incontrovertible evidence that he cheated on his expense report. You report to him and he hired you. <clears throat> what do you do? And 95% of everyone who responded in these classes over the course of two years asked the same question. How much was it? And I would say, why do you ask? And they'd say, well, you know, if it's $25, who cares? And some would say, $100, uh. So you know, you're talking 1000 a month, maybe. And in one of these classes, a woman who was five feet tall in the back of the room got up on a chair so everybody could see her. And she said, listen up. In for a dime, in for a dollar. If he's cheating for a few cents, he's still cheating. It doesn't matter what the amount is. Everybody shut up. That made the whole experience worthwhile for me. At least GE had someone they could count on in the future. Hitler, you know, Madoff, who don't I talk about? Cuomo, Weinstein, even COVID you know, maybe, could have been stopped. 
if we look to the right person, if we just look to the right person, we could have stopped these people before it was so terrible, so egregious. You know who that person is? Look in the mirror.